Adidas right here on After Hours with John Francois, 90.1 FM, WECS, my God. Um, if this, uh, this James Brock guy is still calling me trying to set up something and I told him my email that we could, you know, set it up some other time and, you know, we can talk about whatever he wants to talk about, you know, imprisonment, whatever. Um, so if this, if this is the James Brock guy, then hold up, man. Uh, if it, if it is someone else, then hold up. I will get to you in just a moment. Try to call me at, at, you know, off the air because it, the, the calls are just getting way, way too crazy here. Um, all right. So, um, any requests, 860-456-2164 or facebook.com slash JFRA91. Um, I have another game I could have you guys play for tonight. It is entitled Complete That Lame April Fool's Joke. Just in case if you like to hear lameness on the air, as if this uh, horrible show wasn't enough for your ears. Um, let's see. Complete That Lame April Fool's Joke. Uh, I, I feel like this is going to be an easy one for you guys, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about this, okay? So listen very carefully. What did the sponge and the fruit gushers say when they were trying to walk through a crowded aisle at a movie theater? What did the sponge and the fruit gushers say when they were trying to walk through a crowded aisle at a movie theater? Okay, so uh, be a part of the After Hours with John Francois Facebook group page to answer that question. That's facebook.com slash JFRA91. Um, or you can call in with those answers to the joke. Uh, uh, 860-456-2164. Once again, complete that lame April Fool's joke. What did the sponge and the fruit gushers say when they were trying to walk through a crowded aisle at a movie theater? So far, Samantha has said, squeeze me. And Shawnee's Turner says she's not even going to try. And I think some other guy named Andrew said, squeeze me as well. So um, who knows? Only God can tell. All right. All right. What did the sponge and the fruit gusher say when they were trying to walk through a crowded aisle at a movie theater? Um, so think about that for a second. Um, later on, I have a special interview, I think at around 12 o'clock, so please stay tuned for that. And anything else that I have to say? Not really, not really. I guess I'll take this call. Hello, who's this? <laughs> I wanted to let you know that although I think it's diligent, my grandmother doesn't have a tongue and she'd be a better radio host. And secondly, I want you to pay for the minutes that I had to spend calling you. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. As they say, if you have nothing nice to say, do not say it at all, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to get into another song right here for you folks tonight. Um, it is, I don't know, what is it? I guess I'll look through the playlist. You, if, you, if you guys want to request anything, please do so. Um, let's see, The Fray, You Found Me. How about that? We'll be right back, everybody. Hello? Yes, who's this? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm 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 all right. I'm I'm hanging in there. I just <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess it's just a prank call. I don't know. But hey. Oh, I'm I'm sorry about that. I, I, <laughs> no, it's it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, it's just that so many other people have been calling, and it hasn't been like you know legit callers. So I guess uh, I was caught off guard by that. But um, yeah, but I mean, how are you, man? Are you are you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry they get. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry that. Oh, yeah, you should go to bed, though. I I'm sorry you had to tune in, you know, when the show's not so great, so, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I think everything's just messed up, but, hey, what do you think? 
<laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, nobody ever knows. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's whatever. I mean, I, I, I. Yeah, but I mean, thanks for listening. I mean, I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. All right. So, are you still gonna be on Facebook for a while, or are you gonna be going to bed? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the weird out version as a re as a as a request for me. Yeah, sure. I I'd love to do that. Yeah, but I mean, thank, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, I really, I really appreciate it though, and I hope this doesn't discourage you from tuning in like in later weeks. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks so much. Me too. Bye. Hello? What's this? Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you. Alright, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Have a good night. Bye. All right, everybody, that was The Fray with You Found Me right here on After Hours with John Francois on 90.1 FM WECS. We are broadcasting from Eastern Connecticut State University in Willimantic, Connecticut. Um, so apparently that guy trashing me was an April Fool's prank. This is why I don't like April Fool's because I can get so uh, affected by someone putting me down and uh, you know, I had a little bit of a destructive moment off the air. And uh, now that I found out it was a joke, it was like, okay, haha, that's calming. But still, like, you left me very sad and depressed and thinking that I wasn't really having a good show tonight. So uh, thank you very much, uh, whoever that was, for believing in the art of putting someone down for fun. Um, but yes, I have a Facebook question that I do every week, so I'll get to that right now. Um, to get to those Facebook questions, all you have to do is do facebook.com slash jfra91. Click on the link that says questions on the upper left-hand side, and uh, at the uppermost top, you will click on that question that is the most recent, uh, the question that I asked this week. 70% of ground beef contains something called pink slime. Will you continue to eat the beef? 70% of ground beef contains something called pink slime. Will you continue to eat the beef? All right, and the options that are on display here, yes, it hasn't affected me so far, why not? I am vegetarian, I don't eat meat, so no, never, and no, I cannot take any risk. So, uh, let's find out who answered who. Yes, it hasn't affected me so far, why not? That goes to Andy Moise, Michelle Marie Smith, Simon Dean, uh, Dean Owen Forchier, Anthony J. Piccioni, or I'll just say Anthony J. P., uh, Reno Venturi, Rafael Maldonado, Evan Meshberg. Thank you very much, guys, for answering that option. I am vegetarian. That goes to A.J. Alvin Tice Lockhart, Kim Terepica, Billy DeVito. I don't eat meat, so no, never. That goes to Joseph. Uh, oh, well, I, I slurred myself on that name. Uh, Joseph Colby and Olivia Kaplan. And no, I cannot take any risk. That goes to Robert Gray and Shawnee's Turner. So thank you very much, guys, for answering those uh, options or answering that question overall. 70% of ground beef contains something called pink slime. Will you continue to eat the beef? 
You can still answer that question, and I'll be happy to shout you out on the air. Facebook.com slash JFRA91. Go to the left-hand side where it says questions. Click on that. And uh, right at the top, you'll see that question about the ground beef. Click on it, and from there, you should be able to answer it. So, yeah. It's very challenging because pink slime does sound like something very disgusting and gooey. Uh, kind of like uh, the Nickelodeon slime gone wrong. Um, so... Yeah, that's a, I mean, and, and you know what? A lot of people, it, it's not easy for people to give up meat because meat is so much a part of our lives. It is a part of the food chain. I think it's on the top of the food chain. I have no freaking idea. Um, but yeah, if you're a vegetarian, no problem. If you're not vegetarian, which is basically like 95% of this country, um, then yeah, it's, it's a big challenge that you can't step away from. So that's why I asked the question. All right, so uh, please answer that question. I'd love to hear back from you. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. So how? Uh, once again, how can you put these objects as April Fool's pranks, or how can you use these objects as an April Fool's prank? Orange chicken, minties, and deodorant. Once again, orange chicken, icebreakers, and deodorants. How can you use those objects as an April Fool's Day prank? I'm awaiting your responses. Eight six zero four five six two one six four or facebook.com slash jfra91. Post them up, post them up, post them up. There's still enough time tonight. All right? And complete that lame April Fool's joke. Seriously, I'm waiting for that as well. My God, what do I have to do to get a response here? You like that awkward silence? I do too. What did the sponge and the fruit gusher say when they were trying to walk through a crowded aisle at a movie theater? So complete that lame April Fool's joke. So far I have squeezed me. What do you have? Let me know. Okay. And yeah. And requests. 860-456-2164. Facebook.com slash JFRA91. It's getting annoying. Okay, you get the point. You get the point. Goodness gracious. All right. How about we uh, do something with um, Bleed It Out? That's another uh, song we can play tonight. So we'll play that, and uh, we'll be right back. I, I mean, I hopefully this is a very positive song. Bleed It Out doesn't sound very positive. Honestly, I'm not choosing these songs. Carlisle is choosing these songs, not me. So shout out to her for making people want to bleed themselves. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I guess that's a great April Fool's prank. Hey, bleeder. So, that's great to know. Alrighty then. Back to fun! Back to music! And here we go for the hundredth time Hand grenade pins in every line Throw them up and let something shine Throw it out of my fucking mind Filthy mouth, no excuse Find a new place to hang this news Swing me up from the top of these rooms Find a tight so I won't get loose Truth is you can stop and stare Put myself out and no one cares Grab the trunch out, play down there With a shovel, I'm bound to reach somewhere Yeah, someone pour it in Make it a dirt dance floor again Say your prayers and stop it out When they bring that chorus in I did it out, take it deeper Just to throw it away I'm 